Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about FIFA 21. Supposedly leaked information today. It's all speculative at this point, but we're going to talk about some FIFA 21 information that came out today and some, uh, you know, icon news that we could have because of that. And as well, we're going to take a look at the FIFA 20 content because right now we're kind of in this stage of the game where we're in between FIFA 20, headed towards FIFA 21. The hype is starting to build for 21. We're getting information from EA Sports uh, and on Twitter, there's a lot of stuff going down, but we're also getting somewhat, uh, some sort of content on FIFA 20 still. So we're gonna talk about this uh, in a little bit. I wanna talk about the FIFA 21 stuff first and everything related to FIFA 21 today revolved around a couple cheeky Twitter posts from Inter Milan and AC Milan. Basically what we learned today is both of these clubs signed exclusive content right deals with EA Sports um, to have exclusive, you know, it looks like they're gonna have um, a very detailed uh, representation of both of their stadiums uh, in, in FIFA. They're gonna have different kits that they're gonna have in the game. And also it looks like through these videos that there might be some other types of cards that we see aka icons there's a lot of icons that were featured in these videos today uh, a lot of the videos just kind of look back through the history of the clubs of ac milan and inter milan all the great players that we now see in fifa and some of the current players that are in there uh, as well of course you had zlatan uh you have uh all the guys from inter my boy christian erickson i don't even know if he was in the video there's a lot of throwback stuff in these videos and that's why the speculation for the icons is very very high there's a lot of names that were in those videos that were shown and i want to show you some of the screenshots of those videos and what people are talking about and just kind of talk you through is this stuff actually legit is it speculation could we be seeing some of these icons in FIFA 21? Because right now, there's a lot of people talking about supposed icons they're seeing in leaks and all this kind of stuff. You got, uh, who was it? Diego Forlan on Twitter. Um, somebody tweeted him and asked him if he was going to be an icon, and he responded with, like, the eyes emoji. Uh, and so there's, there's just all this stuff out there right now that is pointing towards a lot of new icons being added to the game. Supposedly, there are 100 icons in FIFA 21. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there were either 79 or 80 in FIFA 20. So they're adding 20 icons. It, they might be adding more, depending on if they lost the rights to anybody else. But that's why there's big time speculation right now. And this is the one of the main guys that people were talking about today from this video from Inter. The Inter video had so many different icons in that video that we need to talk about today. And all those icons are listed right here. And these are some of the screenshots. Again, you have Mykon, you have Eto, uh, Rekoba, Schneider. And the main three that I wanna focus on are these three right here. This is a fantastic graph and a graphic put together by Adam Gilbert Graphics. I'm gonna put a link to this Twitter and to this post down in the description. So you can take a look at it yourself. Uh, but Wesley Snyder, Samuel Eto, and Mykon could be insane icons that they add to the game this year. Eto would be a fan favorite. My con has been wanted for years. So many people have wanted these cards added into foot. I'm a huge fan of Wesley Snyder. I remember using him back in the old, uh, the old FIFAs, uh, some old Wesley Snyder team of the season cards. Uh, this guy was a beast, IRL, and he made an appearance in some of these videos today. Now, this is like the walk-up scene. You can see Crespo, you can see R9, and uh, this is where a lot of people started to say, hey, we might see some new icons based off of what we see in these pictures and in these images. Uh, of course, you can see some of the guys here. And then boom, my, my con is the one that I think, I think a lot of people are really, really interested in this my con card. If my con got an icon, that's a lot of con happening there. Uh, but if this dude got an icon, that'd be insane, right? He's a Brazilian right back. The links would be incredible. His stats on his FIFA card would be freaking sick. That's why I love this graphic because it shows how cool these cards could be. Eto would be a fan favorite. I mean, an OP player in past FIFAs. He had like a foot birthday card in FIFA 18 or FIFA 17 when they did throwback foot birthdays. That was a sick card. Uh, and Schneider would be really cool as well. Another Dutch icon. So the potential here is really insane. And of course, people are getting these rumors from this video. These are all screenshots from that, that Inter Milan Twitter post video right here. Uh, it was 57 seconds long and 78,000 views on Inter's Twitter, reposted by EA Sports. You can see here at the top. That's where all this speculation 
is coming from. So if you want to see the video itself, I will link that video down in the description as well. So you can go take a look at some of that. Now, Inter was not, again, not the only one that released a video today. AC Milan put out a video as well. And this is a tweet from Kazooie, a FIFA legend in the community. Um, Cafu, uh, I believe. Is this Cafu? Yes, I think it was Cafu or uh, somebody else. I think Cafu was somebody else that they were really looking to see as a Brazilian icon. Uh, I was reading some of the comments down here. Adriano, Adriano, my bad. Not Cafu, but Adriano. I think Cafu was shown in some other um, video or some other leak. So the Brazilian icon, uh, you know, hype right now is really, really going around. There's a lot of hype around, especially the Inter icons and the AC Milan icons. Uh, that we could see in foot, but mostly just the Inter cards because Inter's video today on Twitter showed so many different icons uh, that could be coming to the game. Now, of course, this is all speculation. One of the accounts on Twitter that does a lot of uh, behind the scenes, you know, they're basically like the Italian foot watch. Uh, I think they do have some inside information. Somebody tweeted out today, my con plus Schneider both confirmed as icons for FIFA 21. Now that was people watching those videos that I was just talking about and putting forth the speculation that those are actually going to be icons. And they responded with this picture of doubt. So this, you know, these guys are often posting leaks. These guys have some info inside information. So maybe we shouldn't read into these videos too much uh, right now or just yet. Because right now, again, it is a lot of speculation, a lot of hearsay, and a lot of that kind of stuff. But I wanted to bring you this, this content today because I wanted to talk about it. Just get your minds ready because... That could be something, again, it is speculation, that could be something that we do see in FIFA 21. If there's going to be more partnership between Inter and AC Milan, we might see some more icons involved with both of those clubs. If there is a rights thing there that EA has to surpass. Also, uh, in the news today, Roma... Roma, I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but Roma will not be featured in FIFA 21, which is very, very interesting. Uh, and this was actually shown, I think today, EA Sports tweeted this out. Um, as in FIFA 21, AS Roma will now be Roma FC playable and equipped with a custom badge and kit through kickoff. So basically what it is, this is the same situation as what happened with Juventus, right? Last year, EA lost the rights to Juventus. And now they lost the rights to Roma as well. So they're not going to be AS Roma. They're going to be Roma FC. They're not going to have the exact kits, uh, the exact um, badges, or the exact, um, the dynamic images are also probably, they're going to be probably white shirts or black shirts. Uh, maybe the EA will do black shirt because Juventus is white shirt. And we've always called the Juventus uh, dynamic images white shirts this year. Because again, if you need a reminder, all of the Juventus cards this year, whether it's Team of the Year, Team of the Week, everything that has a dynamic image, it's been cropped out to have just a white shirt. Like this Cristiano Ronaldo right here, plain white shirt on his card for the dynamic image. And that's going to happen with Roma players next year as well. Just kind of interesting that they did not get that de deal done with FIFA. I think Pez technically has the rights and maybe they're just holding the reins a bit tighter, a bit stricter and not letting EA get some of those rights as well so that is kind of the fifa 21 related information today that i do need to talk about with you because it's hype right every time there's a possibility of new icons especially big names like eto my Khan, cafu adriano wesley snyder and some of those guys um there's going to be a lot of people's ears that turn and listen and we're going to be very interested in that information so that's why i wanted to bring you that content today now let's talk about fifa 20 for a bit it's going to be tuesday today in, in ultimate team uh on monday yesterday we had the 90 plus tots sf guaranteed again this is the second time that this spc has been released they released it the first time i think on saturday i think they released it for the first time on saturday they released it again today with the same requirements 82 rated 30 cam and a team of the season team of the week or team of the week moments player now this is honestly kind of laughable because the day before this they released an any tots guaranteed sbc with an 82 rated squad requirement and 70 chemistry so for this squad you have the same rating requirement and less chemistry now albeit you do have to put in a team of the season but a lot of us have some sort of team of the season or low rated inform in our clubs most likely unless you're stretched thin then you have to go buy one but the requirements were less chemistry for a guaranteed 90 rated card and in that any tots sbc that was live what was it two days ago i probably have it back here in the back yeah tots sf guaranteed right here 
This is the one that came out on Saturday. This is the one that came out on uh, Sunday, maybe. Um, but this SBC did not guarantee you a 90 plus player. So there were higher requirements in terms of chemistry, which chemistry makes things very expensive in terms of SBCs. It was just incredible EA logic today. Did not make sense. The SBC that technically could give you a better card was cheaper than the SBC that did not guarantee you that better card. So very, very interesting today from EA on that. Again, I, again, was almost close to being hyped today because I thought this was going to be repeatable, but of course it wasn't. And they release it for two days. Like, is this a game, EA Sports? You've released the 90 plus TOTS SF guaranteed twice, but you haven't made it repeatable. Now, if they release this any TOTS guaranteed SBC again, either today or on Wednesday, I'm honestly just going to laugh because if you're releasing these every other day or like three out of the past five days, basically, four out of the past five days almost, why not just make it repeatable and allow people to do it on their own time? Like if this was a repeatable SBC, I would be standing here, sitting here talking to you about so many different things on the market because that would make the grind of the menus and of the SBC section so much more fun right now in this game because there's there's nothing in packs. You have an 82 to 88, an 81 double plus. I've been talking about this for the past three days. There's literally nothing to grind with the stuff that is in packs right now. So if we had an 82 or 83 rated squad that was repeatable, giving us a TOTS card, or, you know, we would grind those and then put the high rated TOTS we didn't need into this icon upgrade. And yes, EA, you would still, you would still drain coins off the market because some people would have to go buy cards to finish out this icon upgrade or to finish out the, the TOTS repeatable upgrade. So if you're really worried about draining coins off the market in August, by the way, a month, two months before your new game comes out, two days before you put out a gameplay video promoing your new game, if you're still worried about making people uh, broke inside the game with their coins so that you can get them to spend FIFA points with the promo packs that you almost never put in the store, if you're still trying to do that, then yes, put in, you put those SBCs out because it's going to drain coins. They are trying to drain coins right now. And how do I know that? They're putting half price packs in the store. What does that do? Oh, I own 12,000 coins instead of a 25K pack. It's half the price. Let me spend 12K on this. And there's, you know, 52 cards in packs. If I pack one, I'm going to make my coins back. What are the probabilities of you packing one of those cards? It's not just less than 1%. It is 0.000001%. Maybe throw a few more zeros in there. That's how little of a percentage you have of packing one of these cards right now. It is very, very low percent. Uh, and whenever they release half price packs, they know what it's doing, right? People cannot resist the urge to spend their coins because there's nothing else to do in this game right now than to, you know, open these promo packs with your coins. Maybe do a couple 81 plus SBCs to pack nothing. If you have coins, hold on to them. Do not spend them right now. You see me literally doing nothing on the market. I traded one icon, Stoikov. Last night, I made like 10K off of that. GG's. I'll take it. Uh, and then watch the rows of the final cards because those are probably going to continue to bounce around in price. Um, as we do near the time of Champions League games being played. Now, I'm recording this video and it's going up on a Tuesday. And we have big time Europa League games coming out on Wednesday. So these yellow cards, the yellow, orange, live Europa League items, UEL items, uh, you're definitely going to keep an eye on those. You're going to want to keep an eye on those because those should get upgraded within the next few days because some of these games that are happening on Wednesday and Thursday are play-in games for the next round. The, basically, the winner goes on to the quarterfinal, and that is due an upgrade. So if United win, this Martial is going to a 91. If Roma win, I think, I think they're playing Sevilla, right? So if Roma win... Um, then you have this Mkhitaryan that is in the store right now is going to go to a 94. The uh, Diego Carlos is going to go to a 90. And if Sevilla win, who's who's going to get upgraded? Oh, no. Diego Carlos will get upgraded. Um, the card that would go to a 90 would be Juan Jesus. So kind of last call. I mean, Mkhitaryan's out for one day. Sarabia. I mean, this guy might get an upgrade. No, PSG is already on to the quarterfinals in the, in the Champions League, I believe. Um but if you do want to get Valverde done, I'm going to have to do Valverde soon. Three days remaining on this live item. And then, of course, you have Napoli and Barcelona uh, are playing for a spot in the quarterfinals as well. And this is out for three more days. So if you're trying to finish up this objective, you got a couple more days to do that to get that live item in your team. Um, I hope today on Tuesday 
that EA Sports releases our first ever Champions League Summer Showdown. I don't know how they have not released it yet. I under I do not understand unless they're not going to make an SBC for cards that are going to get upgraded this like a showdown for this weekend or even Friday Saturday. Even if they want to do a Europa League showdown, I feel like they need to put out that SBC very very soon. We haven't seen any top transfers content yet either. It's all been related to Road to the Finals. It's been live upgradable cards through SBCs. And kind of like what I talked about in yesterday's video, it almost seems to me like they're front loading that type of live content because they want to get those cards out into the game, allow you to do them for the potential upgrade that could happen for the games starting later this week since those games are coming so quickly. And then maybe after the Champions League and Europa League Europa League games get started, then we will see more of the repeatable stuff. Maybe the TOTS packs will come back. Maybe this this uh, Champions League showdown SBCs will start to come out. And again, I'm really waiting for a new car design uh, to be tweeted out in the code because right now I do not see anything. And if they use the same summer showdown car design that they use for summer heat, that would be a bit lazy to me. Uh, I would like to see a new car design from EA Sports on this one, Champions League and Europa League related. I think that'd be pretty sick because if we had the same car design as this and it would be related to Champions League, it, you know, it'd just be kind of okay uh, to have this same car design right here. So hopefully we get a different car design for that. Keep it a, a watch on Twitter and uh, on Footwatch and I will tweet that out as well if it does come. Again, today on FIFA, what am I expecting? I have very low expectations. The content has been quiet. It has been poor. And there's not a lot to do right now on this game of FIFA Ultimate Team. But it is what it is. We keep grinding. And we're going to make the most of it. If you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you're hyped for FIFA 21 icons, drop a comment down in the description. Tell me what icon you want to see. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching today, boys. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.